local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, the clouds this afternoon just don't want to budge, but despite that, things are actually pretty warm. Most of us in the low to mid 70s. It's this that really catches your attention here on the weather map as we're tracking an area of low pressure right around Orlando that's continuing to bring the moisture into parts of Georgia and South Carolina and eventually going to succeed in doing so for our area. But for right now, things are looking dry. We're good through the rest of the evening. It's by tomorrow night into Thursday morning that areas in the yellow stand the chance of some flooding. Now, the National Weather Service Service hasn't yet put out a flash flood watch, but that might be coming as we go through the next day or so. Again, tomorrow night into Thursday morning is when we expect the possibility of some heavy rain. So tomorrow around 7 a.m. There may be a few splotches on the radar, some spotty showers around. Most of these are going to be pretty light and just kind of a nuisance. No flooding with that, but but after about 6 p.m., we'll notice some scattered showers moving in from southeast to northwest. And after about 8 p.m., some of these could become fairly heavy, lasting on and off through tomorrow night and into early Thursday morning. You see that here as we go into Thursday morning around 5, 6 a.m. You'll start to see things moving north of U.S. 460. And then by the middle of the day, we may actually start to dry out with just a few scattered storms left over by Thursday afternoon. But guys, this is a trend that's going to continue into Friday and Saturday afternoons that we see more showers and storms. So between Wednesday night and Saturday, so a long period of time, we're still talking one to three inches of rain across the area. So our streams and creeks are already aggravated. We may once again see those rise and localized flash flooding being possible as well. So we'll keep an eye on some road closures for you. As of right now, there's no official river forecast, but you have to think that those may rise as well. For tonight, lower 60s, so kind of mild, kind of muggy out there. Tomorrow, maybe not quite as warm. High temperatures in the 70 to 75 degree range, but no doubt warm and wet at times through the later part of the week. The jet stream kind of favoring the wind coming in from the southwest, but that changes as we head towards Sunday. The jet stream drops below us, so we'll be cooler, drier, and less humid. In fact, our dew points right now, we talk about that a lot this time of year. They'll be in the 60s here for the next several days, just kind of adding to the moisture that we can kind of play around with to get some scattered showers and storms. But, but as a cold front passes through, dew points fall into the 40s and 50s, making things feel more comfortable as we head into Sunday. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel, but for right now, watching that threat for some heavy rain. For the New River Valley, maybe a stray shower today. Your better chance of heavy rain tomorrow night into very early Thursday morning. Scattered storms left over Thursday, Friday, and perhaps even Saturday afternoons with temperatures in the 70s. Again, we're slightly cooler Sunday and Monday. More sunshine, much less humid as well as we wrap up what's been a very wet month of May. And for the Roanoke Valley, 70s today and tomorrow near 80 Thursday, Friday and Saturday. It's that warm air that's going to help some showers and storms develop each afternoon. But then by Sunday, you see we start out in the 50s, make our way into the 70s, could even see some 40s by Monday and next Tuesday mornings, but still some sunshine.